This is on three payments of $16.65. I, pr I talked about this on my Facebook page, Jackie Gonzalez QVC. Um, Three dollars of, of sixteen dollars and change. M four four one two four. Janine Graf is joining. Hi, Hi Janine. How are you? Mwah. Mwah. This is such perfect timing. It is. Um, and to me, when in my yard, I have my daughter is named after Saint Teresa. Mm -hmm. For those of us when we think about things, my daughter is making her first Holy Communion this oh, Sunday. My son did last year. Oh, did yeah. so so proud. Special time. And it's one of these things that my daughter too. She loves to have things of the Blessed Mother mm -hmm. in her room. Um, growing up in New Mexico with my family yes. and my sister, who her confirmation name is Guadalupe, yeah. um, we have your choice. Yes. We're going to take you through the stories of both of these mm -hmm. beautiful figurines, but yes, they can go outside in your garden. Maybe this is going to be a remembrance for somebody that you know and love. Maybe this is going to be your devotion to Our Lady. And as we start off, we'll start off with our, our Blessed Mother right here. Yeah, this is our traditional grotto scene from Saint Lour the Lourdes, the Lourdes of, Fran of France. France. So, and, and when she appeared, the Virgin Mary appeared to St. Bernadette. So what we've done is we recreated that traditional position wow. with her arms outstretched, lovingly and serenely looking downward, having that beautiful blue mantle. This is all in resin, but this was originally carved sculpture that has been cast. So you're seeing the beautiful folds in her mantle, all of the detailing, the hand painted qualities. This is done by Roman and they are known for their, their artistry, their craftsmanship and their attention to detail. Inside here you've got that grotto. This is 360 so it looks like it's carved right out of stone oh, but again it it's does. that high quality designer resin so it's wonderful for outdoor, any element but again indoor as well. Absolutely. And, so, and she looks beautiful and she's standing on the serpent as that traditional position. And 21 and a half yes. inches high on yeah. top of, of of the world as you see there and you do be, to be able to have this beauty encompassed with the color, oh the gosh, detail, and the that. highs and the lows. Do you see all the, d the different coloration too? I love the shading. It's just so realistic and it's just a perfect addition either one to your home or your garden. And for me, m growing up, yes. my favorite thing to do, I ever since I was a little girl, I had an affinity for saints and I would study mm. saints. Um, when we take a look at Our Lady of Guadalupe, yes. the story for those of you who don't come from a Hispanic background or perhaps never mm -hmm. studied um, our Lady of Guadalupe or Saints. Our Lady of Guadalupe in the 1500s appeared um, on Tempe Yaquil in near Mexico City mm -hmm. to Juan Diego. What she did, she appeared to Juan Diego and she said, please, I want you to build a church in my honor on this hill. Go to the Archbishop. And he said, no one will believe me. And right. she said, go over on the hill and mm -hmm. pick Castilian roses. Well, these are Spanish roses. The hill was known to be barren and there were no flowers, nothing, no foliage would grow there. Juan Diego Beautiful. went over on the hill and there were beautiful Castilian roses. He took yeah. his cape, he then filled it and the Blessed Mother, she then, Our Lady, took it and filled his cape with all of these Castilian mm -hmm. roses he then went to the archbishop as he unfurled his cape and all of these Castilian roses came out yep. to the feet of the archbishop. On the cape was the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And from that moment on, they then built the church on Tempe Hill, mm -hmm. as well as later on yeah. in 2002, um, Juan Diego became a saint as well. Right. Um, this is my this is my sister's confirmation name is is Guadalupe. For me, I have always been fascinated with traveling to areas of sacred history, yes. and this is making uh, that pilgrimage. Going, going to to Tempe Hill, this is one of my one of my dreams, and going to Lourdes is and one Lord, of my. Yes. I think Lourdes is probably going to happen first. Right. Um, and but when you you, to get this, the quality of this, it's this can go outside. Yes, and it's and it's fine in the snow, mm -hmm. in the rain, in the sun, wherever you want to go. Yes, but I love Janine what you were talking about people who make Mary gardens because that is something yes. that my daughter and I were talking about doing this summer. Oh, that's so wonderful. Well, Mary, the Virgin Mary, the Blessed Mother, she is known as a patroness of flowers. She's considered the first gardener. Yes. So this really does make sense for you to add this to your garden and your spaces. But to create a Mary garden is one way that many Catholics show their tradition of honoring Mary with flowers and the month of May is Mary's month yes it is and I myself have been in the Mary the May procession growing up going to parochial school yes where we crowned Mary and we brought flowers to her feet so if you want to you can create your own Mary garden maybe you have a flower bed you can incorporate
incorporate your Mary into that flower bed, mm -hmm. or even if you just wanted to kind of put a vase of flowers or a potted Absolutely. plant, that is all you need to do to create that reflective, that tranquil, and that um, that peaceful way of celebrating your faith, but also bringing nature into your home and outside of your home. For some reason, when I think of also with the two of them, um, with Our Lady of Guadalupe, and you think of the Castilian roses, how right. perfect it would be to have here her near flowers, near roses. Right, near that's the, why I put the but roses she can next be, to her. She anywhere. can be anywhere. anywhere. She doesn't, or even if you don't have roses, and you think of, of Our Lady of Lourdes, and you'd think you'd want her near pool or uh, you know near water, mm -hmm. but she is that peace and that tranquility and that hope and both of them yes. whichever one you order is going to come with the holy card right with of course the prayer whether it's to our lady of guadalupe or going for those of or you who are getting for saint bernadette how beautiful so it's a wonderful way to remember and to maybe you know uh, give this as a gift you could do that but the sculptures themselves are based on the, the artwork the images to the detail, all of the coloration, wow. the, the positioning. And again, this is designed for outdoor use or indoor, and it's a wonderful way to celebrate your faith in this, nature. I'm gonna show them this yeah. carving around Go the for back it. too. Yeah, look and by at the that. way, it's lightweight, it's yeah, it easy really to is. move. You can it's, move it. It's not something that's going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. For those of you who might be thinking about having a little altar area or making that merry garden, we have either our Blessed Mother or Our Lady of Guadalupe. It is yeah. your opportunity. This is one of my picks, by the way, on, on QVC.com for when hosts get to pick what they want. This is one of my picks for the gardening season and for year round. And she's beautiful. She is absolutely beautiful. M44124. Thank Mary you. Mary Month is coming up. Thank you so much.